Hey what's up on Nizio Cole, and this video is going to be slightly different than my usual mod showcase. There are a bunch of mods that have been on my list for a while now and I, I felt like they weren't really big enough for me to make an entire video about them, but there are still some pretty cool mods that I even use pretty frequently. So I decided to take a bunch of the mods and combine them into one video. So let's get right into it. The first mod that we have is PSX Buttons. Now this is a mod which replaces all of the default icons in Watch Dogs, which are Xbox by default, and replaces them with PlayStation, which in theory, you know, would make sense for there to be like a switcher. Now that I think about it, I haven't even seen a game that had an option for multiple control buttons. So this is a really cool mod. I don't personally use a PlayStation controller, but I know there are lots of people who do, and I've think that this would be a good mod for those. So if any of you play Watch Dogs with a PlayStation controller, now this is the mod for you. The next mod we have is Enable Surrender After Act 3. Now this is exactly what it sounds like. It enables the ability to surrender to the police because they disable it after Act 3, which it kind of doesn't make any sense. I guess your notoriety gets too high. The next mod we have is the main menu mod. Now we actually have two different main menu mods. So these mods are are ones that will replace the video on startup. So when you press start game, or we don't say press any button here, and there's like a video and there's like start game and bad blood and all that. So I'm gonna play you a sample of both of the videos so you can get uh, kind of a feel of how they are. So those are the two videos. Of course, I will have those linked in the description. Let me know what you think of those. Do you think they are not necessary? Do you like them? I can see some people actually wanting to install this mod. Side note though, one of the main menu mods does require you to open up the patch file and actually place it in there. So it's a little bit more complicated than a regular mod install, but I do have a tutorial on how to do that. It's for the Lamborghini mod. So it's a little different, but it still works the same. Now the next mod that we have is no intro. Now, again, this is exactly what it sounds like. It just removes the intro at the start of the game. Very small mod, but you know, if you want to get into your game, if you're like rushing to get into your game and you don't want to see the intro, you're just like, come on, just let me play the game. Then this is the mod for you. The next mod we have is remove aim assist. This mod removes camera auto aim while aiming at enemies. Auto aim is still present when starting to aim at an enemy, but not while moving the reticle. So this is actually pretty cool because sometimes it does get really annoying how it, it jerks your, your uh, reticle over to the enemy and it's like, I, I wasn't trying to do that, I was trying to actually go over to here. So if you want maybe a, a kind of a, a harder playthrough, more difficult, then this is the mod for you. And the last mod that we have is Toggle HUD and Remove Outlines. Now this one's cool because it pretty much disables all the UI in the game. Now I won't say all because in certain menus, like when you're buying something from Tobias, some of the text still shows up, but you know, the main game UI, most of the UI in the entire game will disappear when you do this. This also works on the map, which is pretty cool because you can get like a, a just clean version of the map if that's something that you want. But this is something that could be really cool to get some cinematic shots. If you wanted to make an edit with music, sometimes the map is just, it's kind of ugly. And you know, both Watch Dogs Legion and Watch Dogs 2 have options to individually disable any of the UI you want, which is really, really good. Like all games should really have this. And I already use this a lot when I do the reshade videos because I, I it's really annoying having those, those uh, fixer contract notifications pop up in the middle of it. So yeah, those were the mods. Let me know what you think about this format. I was thinking about doing one for Watch Dogs 2 as well. Let me know your thoughts on that down in the comment section below. As always, links to all of the mods mentioned in the video will be in the description if you wanna go check it out. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.